hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i have the baby out the pink machine is out so you guys already know it's a do-it-yourself i'm so excited for this because i love do-it-yourselves and it took me a while to get back into them you guys were always requesting me to get back into those but it wasn't because I didn't want to. It was because we were in lockdown and I couldn't get the materials to do anything, basically. But finally, uh, stores are opening slowly, but they are opening so I could get my hands in some materials to do a very exciting do-it-yourself that I have in my mind for ages. So today I had the idea to do the corset jeans. I like to call them that way, I don't know if they have a specific name. I'm gonna pop some pictures on the screen and they are so beautiful. Ever since I saw them on Instagram, all over Instagram by the way, I instantly wanted a pair and I found some stores that actually sell them but as soon as I saw them I also thought how easy a do-it-yourself of these would be. It actually seems very very easy and I'm praying that it's easy so um I think it's actually a really good do-it-yourself for you to do even if you're not that skilled with a sewing machine or with sewing in general. I think it's gonna be a very easy do-it-yourself so if you wanna see how to do it just keep on watching. Alright so to start any do-it-yourself you need a material list so let's jump into that. So for the corset jeans do-it-yourself you of course need a pair of jeans and I decided to go with these white ones because I've been seeing a lot of blue denim ones and black denim ones but white corset jeans I haven't seen them at all so I'm very excited to try with a white pair and these ones are actually from Pretty Little Thing. Then you will need a sewing machine or some thread and needle if you want to sew by hand, it's definitely possible. Then you'll need some scissors, I like to have a big one for fabric and a small one for thread. Some sewing pins to help you, some eyelets, this will be the star of this do-it-yourself. An eyelet applicator, this specific applicator requires a hammer. And for the lace-up effect, you can choose a satin ribbon like this or just some chains in whatever shade you like. And those are all the materials we are going to need. Actually, I think this is one of the easiest because first of all, there is not much sewing at all. It's really a tiny bit of sewing and you can actually do it by hand. And there's no like pattern cutting or any cutting in general. It's gonna be a super easy cut. And that's actually where we are going to start. So yeah, it's gonna be so easy. The only thing that's tricky here, and it's actually the first time that I will be doing, is applying eyelets. So I'm praying that that goes well because that's like the key of this do-it-yourself. But first things first, so let's start by cutting the side of the jeans. Alright, so here's my pair of white jeans. You can pick whatever color you want, of course you know that. And here you have the side sewing of the jeans and I want to apply 10 eyelets per side, so two rows of five eyelets. So I'm guessing that we'll eventually come up to here, so I'm gonna open up to here first. Just cut the side sewing, there's not much science to it. All right, let's go. Start cutting, don't be afraid. So this part is already cut off and now we can actually take five eyelets which is uh, the total amount that I want to put here and just try to visualize if we cut it enough. One, two, three, four and five. Yeah, I think it's enough. I think we cut it enough. There's no need to cut more. Now you can actually take the side that you already cut it and measure the other side and just place a sewing pin on the other side so you know exactly where to stop cutting. So now you can start cutting the other side right away. I'm filling the sewing pin here so I must stop cutting and you can now remove the pin. Alright, now both sides are already cut and now we'll be using the sewing pins to help us with the folding. We are going to fold towards the inside like this and I am all about 
eye measurement <laughs> so I'm gonna measure like three fingers length here and just fold them and then go in a diagonal until the tiny vertex we left here and now we use the sewing pins just to clip the folding with it together and make it stay like this so we can then bring this to the sewing machine or even sew by hand if you prefer And we do the same with this side, three fingers more or less, and just fold them into a diagonal like this. Okay, so we have everything pinned here, both sides. So now I'm gonna bring this to the sewing machine and do a very simple stitching here, very close to the edge. I'll say like half a centimeter to one centimeter all around these diagonals right here, just to stick both sides of the denim together. Okay guys, so it's coming very clean. I'm very happy with the results so far. Here they are, already soothed. Can you see, it looks very clean indeed. I really love how they are looking so far and it's been so easy, so I'm hoping it stays this way. I'm gonna do exactly the same to the other side, so not much science to it again. Let's go. I just finished sewing both sides. It's looking pretty great actually. I'm really loving the shape so far. And the sewing also looks very clean. Maybe because it's wide, I feel like you can barely see it. Now it's time for the eyelets actually, which is the key part. So it's the part that I'm the most scared, so pray for me. I'm placing them on the side like this and just putting the eyelets exactly on the places where I want them. And then I'm gonna mark with a pen. I forgot to put a pen in the materials, but yeah, you need a pen if you want to mark them. I think they are looking fine like this, so I'm gonna mark them. Alright, everything marked up, now we are ready to apply the eyelets. Now for the eyelets, I'm actually using this wood board right here not to destroy my flooring. And then we are going to apply this piece right here. And start with this part, the big part of the eyelet, and put it like upside down, like this, on top of the base. Then you should align the piece that you marked here on top. Then you place the top part of the eyelet right here with the top part of the applicator on top and then you use your hammer to just place the eyelets and do that for every single eyelet all right so first one is in it's looking good it's actually easier than i thought it just needs to really <laughs> go hard with the hammer so yeah i'm gonna apply the rest of them now Okay, so I just finished applying all the eyelets and let me tell you, first it was easier than I thought, actually, pretty much easier, you don't need that much strength and once you get used to it, it's actually very very easy. The other thing is that it takes a while, so uh, I would say it's kind of the hardest part of this do-it-yourself, not because it's hard to apply them, but because it takes a while, it took me like half an hour. But are you ready? I'm so proud, I couldn't be more proud. So basically this is how it looks. It looks so good. 
I love it. As you can see here, there's like a bigger space than here, but that's just because sometimes you need to really adapt to the space you have. Like right here, there's a pocket, so I couldn't put on top of the pocket. But other than that, they just look really dope and I just can't wait to apply here the lace-up detail and finish this do it yourself. And this is actually the fun part because you can play around and pick whatever like ribbon colors or um, gold chain, silver chains, the size of the chain, you can play around here with a lot of different options. So what I think I'm gonna do for you guys to have as much options as possible is to apply the ribbon on one side and a chain on the other and pose for you guys so you guys can decide which one you prefer and for me to decide which one I prefer and styling them and shooting a little lookbook for you guys. So I'm gonna apply a different lace-up to each side and this side. This is actually the side of the chains. I really love this side. I think it's very, very pretty and I can't wait to shoot it. I'm really proud of it. I think it looks very professional. Actually, if these were some jeans that I bought, I would be super happy with the result. They look chunky and heavy and really well made. So I'm really proud of the chain side. I'm really proud of this do-it-yourself. And this is the lace-up ribbon side. I have like a love-hate relationship with this one. I think the chain one is the one that I'm the most used to seeing but this one is so different from what I usually see and I love the color and the thing that you can change colors anytime you want with these jeans is such an add-on you definitely should do this with yourself and play around with it the only thing I hate, not hate, but I don't really appreciate on this side is the fact that the ribbon is always twisting so you need to uh, be a little careful of that but other than that, I think it's very original and very cute. All right, so I love how they turned out. I'm so pleased, so proud of this with yourself. Are you curious about which side I picked to style an outfit with? Let's see. And that's it guys, I hope you like this do-it-yourself as much as I did. It's definitely one of my favorites, it's very easy to make and I'm really really proud of the results. So yeah, my top 10 for sure. And if you like this yourselves and want to see more from me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also if you recreate this do-it-yourself, don't forget to tag me on your recreations because I love to see them, it's one of my favorite things in the world to see you guys recreate my stuff. Also all the links to my social media are down below in the description. And I guess I see you next week, bye guys!